This is a mistake. What's wrong? I, I, I don't know what I was thinking, bringing my beloved non-wife into this surveillance. I don't really know. I'm going to stay by your side the whole night. I even want to spice up your night a little if we have time. I mean, this must be so boring, just hanging around hotel lobbies and corridors, spying on cheating husbands. This case is anything but boring, which is why I'm nervous about dragging you into the line of fire. Sonelli, that's so sweet of you to worry, but I don't have to be back at work for at least an hour. I pulled Fetty management. Kate has to review his entire new line, and she's not always very tactful, and Fetty is extremely sensitive. Okay, I don't think you understand. I... I'm worried about your physical safety. Oh, if I can handle Fetty in full diva mode, I can definitely deal with Chef Robert, cheater extraordinaire. I made a rhyme. I, I may have been a bit too circumspect in my efforts to not unduly alarm you, but the, the, the truth is, the facts of this case have taken a decidedly gruesome turn. But I thought you said you still needed proof that Chef Robert was a serial killer. Well, as it happens, three women who have been known to have carnal knowledge of the philandering chef have disappeared, according to police reports, without a trace. But thankfully, Jackal's cyber prowess has uncovered several unsettling clues that coupled with an emerging psychological profile indicate that Chef Robert is much more than just a, a cheating spouse. Hold that pot. Oh. Hi, Kate. Oh, I'm really sorry, but I'm not gonna be able to come back into the office and hold Fetty's hand tonight. Something came up. It's literally a matter of life and death. That is the serial killer. He looks so ordinary. That's what makes it easy for Chef Robert to gain his victim's confidence. I mean, one that looks so harmless could not possibly pose a fatal threat. But any good detective knows that looks can be deceiving. You can say that again. It gets worse. He not only does he possess physical characteristics that lull his potential victims into fateful complacency, he has a diabolical mind. He's, he's cunning and, and clever, so much so that no actual evidence exists of his heinous acts. Well, our job is to change that, right? Precisely. We have to be diligent. We have to, to devote time and effort. Uh, surveillance must be constant. We have to follow Chef Robert's treacherous path. Tail he and his dates to, to restaurants, clubs, hotels. Max Mises' fashion expertise could prove most useful. Really? How? Well, yeah, you, you could glean information from the, the predatory gifts that he showers on his potential victims. I mean, I, 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 mean, I imagine you could, you could tell a lot from the, the jewelry a woman prefers or the, or the accessories she wears. True. Right, I, there may be hidden patterns lurking in, in such minutiae that we could discern a particular type. Right, because most serial killers are really just whacking the same woman over and over again. Very astute observation, so I can depend on my non-wife. Spinelli, I will do whatever I can to make sure this creep does not hurt another woman. I knew I could count on you. Only always. You have a sexy voice. This is the pernicious one. Excuse me. I do not usually cook breakfast, but for you, I will make an exception. Uh, yes, pernicious uh, uh, one. I assure you that all the instructions were followed to the letter, and, and the funds have been delivered. <laughs> Unexpected delight. A beautiful woman appears as if from heaven to put, as you say, the moves on Chef Robert. Oh, no, not, not quite. I uh, just wanted to tell you what a big fan I am. Come, I'll show you my pastry pantry. Oh, no, let, let go of me. Uh, yeah, you like to play out to get. Me too. So, what other games do you like to play? Okay, now back off, you serial killer.